I wasn't originally trained as a jeweller. Um, I was trained as a sculptor. And my attitude towards jewellery is it's another means of self-expression. It's an expression of my creativity. When I make jewellery, I sort of foc focus on different aspects. It depends on um, the time of day and what I've seen that particular day. My problem is to um, filter out uh, stimulus from the outside world. It might be, for instance, um, an advert from a newspaper or a, a section of uh, a building. It can be anything. Um, often it's from um, just watching maybe television ads or sportswear, streetwear, fashion, clothes, anything. I suppose I originally started to make jewellery um, with uh, materials which were at hand. I had um, a large collection of um, f f offcuts of um, plastic acrylic sheet and PVC and uh, these were obtained from sign writers. Um, I particularly like plastics because of their malleability, their range of colours and um, the fact that in themselves the plastic have very little if any character and what I do with the um, plastic only adds to them and ag again it's my chosen material for my chosen form of expression. Um, it's a great um, relief really to finish a piece of work. Um, you spend weeks and sometimes months, even years on one piece and um, when it's finished there's a sort of certain um, relief, or, um, but um, void. Um, often the pieces, once finished, lead me on to other pieces. Um, in the meantime, I accumulate experiences, and these all add for my next piece. Um, I don't see pieces of my work on people so often. It's always um, a great um, joy and surprise because um, different people use the jewellery in different ways and in a way they take the creative process one step further and they in their arrangements um, create um, a look whereas another person will create a different look and um, you know this is always um, a joy but um, some I like some I don't like but that doesn't matter it's what the people bring to the jewellery that counts. Um, as I said earlier, yes, it's the stimulus that um, make me um, do and use some of the shapes I make um, come from every, everyday experiences. The sight, sound, sometimes um, written ideas. Um, I don't particularly have any messages. Um, some people say my work can be quite witty and some are in the process of making. I sometimes see an element and um, develop it. Um, often um, it's not planned but um, I allow it to come out.